One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Well, there are plenty looking forward to seeing this. A capacity crowd here. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. Things have got underway here pretty promptly. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Raheem Sterling. He could be the key man for me, Peter, because he's so quick and direct with the ball at his feet. And that low centre of gravity also makes it hard to knock him off the ball. You know, he can turn very quickly. He's also improved his end product in recent years, and he's more capable of finishing with a plum now. His whole game has matured beautifully. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. He's beaten the last man. Bruno Fernandes. That looks a cracking ball. And the shot! Goal! Portugal! And Portugal score first. Well, there's always a chance of being caught like that when you surrender the football. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. He's got away. Gets to show off his quick feet. Oh, he's enjoyed that. He evidently loves the contest. No, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Lovely ball into space. Clears it out of harm's way. João Cancelo. No, he's not getting his way this time. Ball is over the line. Ball's gone out of play. Bruno Fernandes. Mount. Shaw. Goes on a run down the left wing. Threads one in. Now it's Mount. Away from immediate danger. And it's Sterling. And he's there to get it away. And they're quick to get it back. Gets his pass away. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. And Portugal can counter-attack here. And the whistle goes for half-time. Well, there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first-half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Portugal head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. The reaction has already resumed here. Portugal carrying a one-goal lead. Otavio. João Felix. Delivers the ball. Massive leap! And oh, he's got that completely wrong.
Loose pass and they could be in. And it's Sterling. It's a throw in. Danilo Pereira. The attendance for this match was 12,550. Oh, nice touch. Gets away from his opponent. Defending of the desperate variety. I've managed to get it away. Stands up to him well and emerges with the ball. Floats it up and over. Stones. No, oh, he's had it nicked away from him. Joel Felix. Now it's Ottavio. Cleared without complication. He's found a way through. Chooses to deal with it himself. Well, that is one way to stop him. They may end up with some regret with this tactic, but you have to admire their commitment to goals. He's left his man. England really are showing all the necessary urgency, but it's potency they need. Excellent challenge there, uncompromising. Joao Felix. Played out to the left flank, Guerrero. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Substitution in progress. Well, there is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, from a towering header. And it's in. Two up and threatening to pull clear. Great corner, and he did the rest. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Well, that's a really bitter blow. I think it's going to be very hard for them to find the character to respond from that. And the shot! Not the most convincing of passes. Goal kick as confirmed by the referee. Two added minutes has been indicated. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Hits one! No mistake! Deep, deep into injury time! An act of charity gratefully received. The goal scorer for England, number nine, Kane. And there goes the final whistle. Portugal have held on. A knife-edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. Cristiano Ronaldo taking in the accolades, having been named man of the match, and deservedly so. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Portugal were victorious here, and rightly so. When you're allowed free licence to strut your stuff in wide positions, Please we could only see one winner. And I just really like...